hammer or one of those command grabs that can really, yeah. really prove to be a headache. We are going to see, would you say this is going to be a damage explosion, Harpenier? Absolutely. I would say that uh, Wolf is actually a great character for us to introduce, uh, especially if you're a little bit newer to the VF game. Uh, watching Wolf is like basically watching VF in action. He is the concept yes. of Nitaku in action. Nitaku meaning the two-choice system. Everything that Wolf has is designed around forcing his opponent to guess between whether a, a mid attack or a throw is coming. So we're going to see starting right off, uh, Flash doing some spacing. There is spacing in the game. There is a, one of the Sabakis right there. That little wet towel noise that you hear. Yeah, it just throws it away. And Wolf there with that shove, and we got that running throw. With more neutral combo. situations. Oh, he messed it up. Yeah, I think That's those right. continue there. No problem. Combos in the game are generally pretty simple and easy to execute. However, sometimes you'll mess them up. That's one of the more complicated ones. Didn't, fa didn't face flash at all. He was able to continue. Yeah, Alabama slam, hardcore Holly style. That's right. I mean, I, I always side. look at Wolf as a powder keg, just ready to burst. Absolutely. So one other thing is you may notice that the characters will go to each other's side. Um, in some 3D games, this has an effect. In VF, it has an extremely uh, powerful effect. Uh, moves from the side are more positive on even on block. They provide additional hit stun. They do more damage occasionally. Moves from the side are very important. Ground throw with the oh, grapple. He wants to break that death. wall, Harpenier. You can absolutely break the wall in this stage, yeah. Any stage with a breakable wall, it can only be broken on the last hit of the match. And the but wall stays broken, yeah, too. That's what I love, also. Exactly. So it causes a lot of uh, strategic decisions in the matches up ahead. Yep, got the stagger there. That's good stuff. Got that reset and flips the tables on Aztec. Absolutely. Aztec's looking pretty strong on the defense, but he's unable to really mount an offense. One of the things that you may want to watch out for is that red flash on hit. Whenever you see a red flash on hit, that indicates that the attack was a counter hit. So it may yep. indicate some mashing. Unfortunately, Aztec has been unable to land successive hits until this match. This round specifically was a turning point for Aztec. Even though he lost, I do feel like he's going to have a more successful way of opening Flash up in the next game. Yeah, and that's one thing is, is like you spend a lot of time in Virtual Fighter, possibly even dedicating two rounds of 45 seconds in, in order to establish some offensive patterns to see what could open up the opponent. So yeah. um, Aztec came very close to taking that last round, so let's see how those adaptations play out, exactly as you mentioned, Arbadir. Yeah, conditioning is super important. I would say that while Flash is an expert in conditioning, I would say that Aztec is actually starting to be able to work around that and maybe even condition Flash to get hit. I love how he went underneath that high swing there, nice. getting that shoulder chest and there's the round, not breaking the wall. There, we still got the cage up containing, but we're seeing a lot of damage everywhere, Harpenier. Absolutely. Only certain moves will break that wall, so it's, it's not always feasible, but it's really good to see that uh, Aztec has been able to use a concept called string stagger. It's in most 3D games. I'm sure you guys under have heard of this before. It's when you do a string, <laughs> the low crush. The low crush. I love it. Absolutely. The low drop kick over that sweeping leg. Absolutely. Gotta watch out for that. But these buttons ain't free. Oh, Burning hammer, baby. That is the most damaging throw in the game. It is 100 damage on a 220 damage life bar. It makes a big impact. Indeed, all you need is just about two of them. But there we go with the arm bar city from go. Got him down on the ground to get that mounted offense in there. Oh, got that nice. stagger. This is going to mean something. So I'm noticing that he is landing so many hits on Flash. You're noticing. You may have noticed this that Aztec is unable. He, he hasn't switched to start adding throws into his offense. And he doesn't really need to, aside from well, there was one right there. But he doesn't really need to because he's landing a lot of uh, mids. We'll see what happens. Oh, this is going to be big. He's shown that he hasn't been able to break that stagger, so it's free damage for Flash. Oh, that's a mix-up. There you go. Big combo. That this is it. Yeah. Man, it's amazing you can get no TG off that. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, right, that's running into swing. that Cesaro City. Oh, that's really close yeah, to the wall there. This is going to be very rough for him. Uh, Wolf has very damaging wall combos. Oh, is he going to bring him? Yeah, okay. He did not go for the wall. That's important because Flash probably was breaking in the direction towards the wall. Nice whip punish. Nice. Here's the grab option. This is going to do it. Yeah, he got the combo this time. That Good was work, absolutely brilliant there, especially teetering against the wall. 